Hey y'all, it's me Chris, and let's talk about how I feel about my chest. If you watched my previous video of the gender tag, this past one that was made in June, and then this one previous that was made a year prior to June, so a year and a half ago, gosh, it's been a while. You'll notice that there's a common trend. I do change a lot of things in the gender tag as I explore myself further, things will change, but I've always consistently said that I have a little bit chest dysphoria, but only certain times. In this video, I wanna discuss what I do, why I feel like I do them, and why I feel like I do them could be total bullshit. So, what do I do? I wear a binder. I do. I wear a binder during most social situations. It kind of fell upon me, actually. I didn't buy this one. A individual that I know procured them from a work and then gave me three of them. And one of them I really, really liked. And I started wearing them because I was like, okay, let me, let me see how it goes. And there's also a more embarrassing story on why I started wearing binders. It's a little TMI, but I started wearing binders because I have tiny little boobies. I'd say like bigger A, smaller B, but my nipples are hard all the time. The struggle is real, y'all. It's real. They are hard in the cold, in the hot, when I'm horny, when I'm not. I sound like Dr. Seuss, but it's true. So I wanted to wear the binder so that my nipples don't show. And so I wore the binder and I liked it. And that scared me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I wear the binder again in most social situations. The only time I don't wear a binder is when I'm doing yoga, working out, or when I'm at home and I just gotta let the puppies breathe. Just because I've heard of like health effects, let me just poof up the hair. <laughs> I haven't had that, but I just want to be precautious. So that is what I do too. Why I feel like I do that. So again, going back to what I said in the video, clothes, I didn't like having the little bumps. I wear t-shirts most of the time, t-shirts or button downs. I have a very masculine appearance. And so I feel like having just a sports bra or even a regular bra um, didn't reflect my appearance and expression. They have the little bumps and I'd be like, oh, that's like annoying and stupid and I don't like them and my nipples are showing. So I wear the binder. And the thing is, when I'm not clothed, I love my breasts. I love my boobies. I like being felt up on them. I like walking around topless. I like just my boobs and how they are. And at this point, yeah, naked, I love them. But clothes, I like the more flatter chest. And I do pass as having top surgery. I have friends and people I meet ask if I have had top surgery, I'm like, no. So what does this mean and why do I think it could be bullshit? I'm in the process of thinking, what do I do and why do I do that? Okay, so I do this, what does that mean? And does it have to mean anything? Does it, I don't know, I don't know. But we'll see. Does top surgery look like in my future? Again, I don't know. I could probably make a video in six months going, I need top surgery. And maybe in six months I'll be like, you know what? I'm pretty satisfied. So this is what my binder looks like. So this is what my binder looks like. Um, I have the crop top looking one. Although I also have two other ones that are full body, but they're like a little too big on me. Like if I wrap it, it still feels really like I'm swimming in it. So this is a medium. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, here it is. There you go. And it has the uh, kind of thicker front and then stretchy sides and back. Um, this is a medium. So if you if you are like looking for a binder and this is my like kind of my body at the moment and this is a medium although i gotta let you know something let me just get not naked the stash that the individual that i got these from were all mediums so and they were some bigger that like i would i'd feel like i'm in a shirt to these which is tighter again i don't know the company because the label wore off but there you go do you mind? And if so, why? If so, why not? If, yeah, let's just have a conversation and talk about winding. 
because it's fun and it's a new experience. All my contact information is below. Email me, message me, comment. Let's continue this conversation. I want to grow this community and so that we can talk about stuff like this. Bye! I'm in a hotel room. I tend to do that from time to time. Yes, that's a lampshade because I try to be all YouTuber and the light behind me doesn't have a lampshade, so... It's all about lighting. Ugh. Bye.